Hello beautiful peeps, I'm Chris from Techspert and today we're going to be comparing three mid-range Android smartphones, all of them costing around the sort of £400 price point and all of them sporting that fresh, powerful new Snapdragon 778G chipset. So if you're quite a demanding user who, for instance, wants to play memory guzzling games like Genshin Impact but you don't have a ridiculously huge budget to play with, well, one of these blows could be your next smartphone. The first of the trio is Samsung's Galaxy A52s 5G, which will cost you 409 quid direct from Samsung. Next up is the Motorola Moto Edge 20, which is 429 quid direct from Motorola. And last up, the Xiaomi 11 Lite 5G NE, which cost you 369 euros, so probably around 350 quid. And that one sadly isn't on sale for another few weeks. You've still got a little while to wait. You can check out my reviews and full unboxings of these smartphones right here on Techspert. But let's do a full side-by-side -side comparison to see which one might be best for you. And for more on the latest and greatest tech, please do plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers! So stick these three mighty mid-rangers side by side and as you can see not a massive difference in terms of the size the Motorola Edge 20 is the biggest of the trio at 6.7 inches where you got 6.5 inch Galaxy A52s 5G and the 6.55 inch Xiaomi. Apart from the slight size difference no real distinctive features from the front as you see they've got selfie orifice and all three although it is at least tucked away in the corner here on the Xiaomi which is my own personal preference. Reasonably skinny bezels and what have you but when you flip them over of course they all do sport a very different design despite the fact that you've got a plastic back on all three of these blowers. I love how Samsung, Motorola and Xiaomi have all gone for a matte finish for the plastic backs, none of this glossy uh, nonsense which picks up greasy fingerprints far too easily. You do have a small selection of colours with all three phones that you can choose between. I quite like the more vibrant efforts here on the Samsung Galaxy A52s 5G. This mint is rather nice, you can also grab it in violet. And of course the standout is definitely the snowflake Xiaomi 11 Lite 5G NE. Very unique and distinctive back in there, that's for sure, though of course not for all tastes. Now these handsets, Xiaomi's is certainly the slimmest and the lightest by far, while Motorola's is quite a chunky monkey and definitely has a good bit of heft to it. And the Moto Edge 20 also makes do with a Gorilla Glass 3 display, whereas the Samsung Galaxy A52s 5G and the Xiaomi Blower both spot a Gorilla Glass 5 screen, although touch wood, all three of them completely scratch free so far. And if water resistance is a key factor for you, well, in that case, go with the Samsung. Galaxy A52s 5G because it's IP67 water and dust resistant and can be fully submerged in water for a good length of time and be absolutely fine, just shake it off. Meanwhile, the Motorola Moto Edge 20 is IP52 water repellent, so it can take a bit of a splash and get quite damp uh, as long as you dry it off quickly, not a problem. The Xiaomi smartphone can also take a bit of a splash in as well, it's absolutely fine to use outdoor in the piss and rain, but it doesn't have an official IP rating. Now let's turn our attention to the software side of things, and all three of these smartphones do rock a good bit of Android 11 action. However, while the Motorola Moto Edge 20 is content to serve this up in a gorgeous stock form, you'll find that on the Galaxy A52 S5 and the Xiaomi 11 Lite 5G NE, you do have a bit of custom launcher action. On the surface, they basically look like they've got the same UI. So for instance, swipe this way and you'll come across the Google Discover feed or your list headlines and everything tailor-made for your own personal preferences. You've got an apps tray on all three of them, thank God. Now here on the Moto Edge 20, you've pretty much just got those Google apps pre-installed for you, so a nice and slim line. Uh, whereas here on the Samsung Galaxy A52 S 5G, you've got tons of crapware uh, pre-installed like Facebook and TikTok, LinkedIn, all that shenanigans. Plus, of course, you've got all of Samsung services chucked on there as well. And if you are a Samsung user, then, you know, you'll appreciate having the likes of Samsung Pay, Samsung Health, Smart Things is actually pretty good. But almost all of these are just replications of services that Google already provides through Android. So Bigsby is just another Google Assistant. You've got Samsung Health, Samsung Pay, of course, is like Google Pay. Smart Things is like Google Home. And it's a similar story here on the Xiaomi 11 Lite 5G NE as well. You've got lots of stuff like AliExpress and Amazon Shopping pre-installed on there. And of course, a few of Xiaomi's own apps as well. Although these do at least tend not to be duplicates of Android services. So for instance, you've got a Themes app. And the security app's actually pretty decent. This is just an easy... Uh, way of managing your smartphone and clean up some of the clutter. You've got the likes of a spam call, a block list. So that MIUI launch is probably the heaviest of the bunch. So you've got additional features chucked in here, like the control center, for instance, which you don't get on stock Android. Of course, which software experience you'd like the most will entirely come down to personal preferences. I really, really enjoy the stock Android vibe on that Moto Edge 20, especially with some of the extra bits that Motorola throws in, like the karate chop motion to get the torch on. Really, really nice bit of gesture support. But there's lots to love with Samsung's One UI launcher as well. You've got some deep customization options in there. Samsung's Nox security suite is also good for 
bit of extra peace of mind. And Samsung tends to be better than Motorola and Xiaomi when it comes to OS and security updates as well. Now speaking of the security side of things, all three of these smartphones offer a fingerprint sensor to quickly and easily unlock your smartphone. It's actually an in-display fingerprint sensor, an optical effort here on the Galaxy A52s 5G, whereas the Moto Edge 20 has an edge-mounted fingerprint sensor, rather appropriately, as does the Xiaomi 11 Lite 5G NE. My only complaint with any of them would be here on the Moto Edge 20, that fingerprint sensor, which is basically the power button, is housed really far up that edge, so it can be a bit of a stretch to reach to, you can be fumbling for it sometimes. All three phones do offer a face unlock as an alternative as well, and it seems to be the most secure here on the Samsung Galaxy A50, A52s 5G, uh, as it doesn't actually work when you're wearing a face mask, whereas it does seem to work fairly often, especially here on the Xiaomi 11 Lite 5G NE, even with a face mask. And before we move on, as far as the storage goes, you've got 128 gigs base storage on all three of these smartphones. But while that can be expanded on the Samsung and the Xiaomi smartphones, the Moto Edge 20 does not have any micro SD memory card support. Boo hiss. Now let's have a shifty at the display tech. And the Samsung, Motorola and Xiaomi smartphones all boast an OLED display, as you would expect at this sort of price point, with a Full HD Plus resolution. So the output on all three of these blows absolutely fine, despite the fact they are quite spacious panels. Uh, you get nice, vibrant, punchy colours on all three as well, and reasonably strong brightness level, slightly better on the Samsung and the Xiaomi than it is on the Motorola. Contrast is good on all three, you get nice deep blacks, as you'd expect from an OLED panel. Slightly warmer output here on the Samsung Galaxy A52 s 5G compared with the others, but you can play around with the colour temperature and those colour intensity settings on all three. Sadly, the Samsung Galaxy A52 s 5G does not support HDR streaming, whereas the other two do. You've got HDR10 Plus support here on the Motorola Moto Edge 20, and actually Dolby Vision support in addition here on the Xiaomi 11 Lite 5G NE. And all three phones in this comparison also support a high refresh rate as well. You've got 90Hz refresh here on the Xiaomi 11 Lite 5G NE, 120Hz here on the Samsung Galaxy A52 s 5G, and you've got a whopping 144Hz here on the Moto Edge 20 grip for those supported apps, games such as Vainglory, of course. And as you can see there, the Moto Edge 20 also offers an auto refresh rate option as well, which can scale the refresh rate depending on what you're actually doing to conserve battery life when it's not necessary. On the audio front, well, the Samsung and the Xiaomi blowers offer a stereo speaker output. Sadly, it's just a mono speaker output on the Edge 20, so not quite as powerful there. You do have a headphone jack on the Samsung Galaxy A52 s 5G, but not on the Motorola and Xiaomi smartphones, but thankfully at least all three do offer dependable Bluetooth streaming. Now, one thing all three of these smartphones share in common is the fact that they're powered by Qualcomm's Snapdragon 778G 5G chipset. It's quite a fresh new 700 series Snapdragon chipset, and it is pretty damn powerful. Now, it's backed up by six gigs of RAM on the Galaxy A52 s 5G, eight gigs on the Moto Edge 20, and you've got a choice between the two on the Xiaomi smartphone. This is the six gig model of the 11 Lite 5G NE, and as you can see, there's slightly lower scores in Geekbench compared with the other two smartphones here. That's possibly partly down to the fact you've got that heavy MIUI launcher, but as always, I do say, take benchmarking with a serious pinch of salt. But the good news is, the everyday, actual, real-life performance on all three of these smartphones is absolutely fine. No worries, you'll very rarely see any kind of judders or slowdown. Apps load up instantly, you can multitask, all that good stuff. Although, if you are a gamer, I would direct you away from the Xiaomi smartphones onto the Samsung or the Mode Rollers instead. All three can play the likes of Genshin Impact, but certainly on that Xiaomi smartphone, I did notice more judder and more stumbles, uh, even on the default to low settings. Whereas the gameplay was much smoother on the Galaxy A52 S 5G and that Moto Edge 20. But the good news is that none of these smartphones heat up, even if you're gaming for an hour, two hours or more, because that Snapdragon 778G chipset runs nice and cool. And yeah, you've also got a dedicated gaming mode on all three of these smartphones as well, which can help to block any notifications from interrupting you mid-floor, and also just channel all of the resources into that game to make sure you get that smooth performance. And it's more good news on the battery front as well. As far as the battery capacity goes, well, the Motorola Moto Edge 20 has a 4,000 milliamp capacity cell. You've got a 4,500 milliamp in the Galaxy A52s 5G, and the Xiaomi smartphone is bang in the middle, 4,250. 
However, when it comes to actual real world usage, again, the battery life is superb on all three. Don't pay much attention to the capacities because the Motorola Moto Edge 20 might have the smallest capacity cell, but it also runs a nice clean stock version of Android, so there's no heavy launcher sucking extra juice. So I found with all three of these smartphones in this comparison, I'll get a full day of use out of a single charge. That's with a lot of screen on time, like at least five, six hours. Lots of mixed use as well, stream and media in the background, the occasional bit of YouTube or Netflix, a bit of camera use as well all that shenanigans. A similar sort of charging abilities on all three as well. So the Xiaomi 11 Lite 5G NE supports 33 watt fast charging. In the case of the Moto Edge 20, it's 30 watt charging. Although Samsung has kind of shat the bed a little bit on this one because it's got a 25 watt charger in that Galaxy A52s 5G, but you don't get a 25 watt charger bundled in the box. It's a crappy low wattage one, so you'll have to provide your own charger if you want to take advantage of that. Now let's finish with a squint at the camera tech and Motorola certainly impresses the most in the specs department with its 108 megapixel primary sensor, although you don't get any built-in optical image stabilization. Meanwhile, the Samsung Galaxy A52s 5G and the Xiaomi 11 Lite 5G NE both sport a 64 megapixel sensor and the Samsung actually has OIS to help prevent blur when you're shooting in more ambient light. I've got to say the Samsung Galaxy A52s 5G is my favourite overall for everyday snaps. It's very flexible, it's great at shooting kids and pets as you don't tend to get any blur from them dashing around like their arses are ablaze. The Moto phone produces the least accurate colours of this bunch and it does struggle in low light despite that mighty sensor. Samsung's phone is generally quite strong in lower light with a night mode that can really help to brighten up a scene and overall Xiaomi's handset falls somewhere in the middle. Yeah, definitely go check out my in-depth reviews for more on the uh, the camera abilities. Uh, switch back to the photo mode, you've also got an ultra-wide angle lens on all three of these smartphones, which you can swap to at any point like so. It's a 16 megapixel sensor here on the Motorola, 12 on the Samsung and 8 on the Xiaomi, but all three tend to produce quite similar results. The colours are a bit bought, colour accuracy not as strong in the ultra-wide angle mode, but you do get a pulled back view so you can fit more into frame. Where the Moto Edge 20 really impresses is its 8 megapixel telephoto shooter with 3 times optical zoom, which is very rare at this price point. Xiaomi's pics, by comparison, look rather grainy when you use the digital zoom at that sort of level, although Samsung's blower actually holds up pretty well. And yeah, you've got the likes of a macro mode on all three of them as well if you want to take really up-close personal shots of your subject. And yes, of course, you've got tons of other bonus uh, camera modes as well if you want to have a bit of a play around with all of those, including a full-on pro mode on all three, for instance, the likes of the night modes, all that good stuff. And then, of course, you do have a selfie shooter on all three of these smartphones, 32 meg, 32 meg, and 20 meg, respectively. Now, this is absolutely fine for your shareable Instagram shots on all three of them. You've got the portrait mode, smart, all the usual shenanigans, so uh, yeah. And that right there is how the Samsung Galaxy A52s 5G, the Motorola Moto Edge 20, and the Xiaomi 11 Lite 5G NE all stack up against one another. Definitely some solid smartphones for that mid-range price point. I think my own personal favourite is the Samsung Galaxy A52s 5G, though just offers a little bit more for that cash. I do like the One UI experience. You've got the water-resistant design, some really gorgeous AMOLED screen output there. You've got a really headphone jack, which is always good, of course. And as far as the camera uh, tech goes, good photos. That's what I reckon, of course. What do you guys reckon? Which one are you more swayed by? If you're still a bit unsure, I've got full reviews of the Samsung Galaxy A52s 5G and that Xiaomi smartphone live right now. Hoping to get my Moto Edge 20 review up soon as well if people stop launching freaking smartphones for more than a couple of days. Anyway, for more on the latest greatest tech, please do plug subscribe, ding that notifications bell, and have yourselves a fantastic rest of the week. Cheers, everyone. Love you.